What it do, YouTube? Venture here again with old Roxy. Just got back from out of town, so y'all know what time it is for Roxy. It's bath time. Wanted to make another video because I haven't made a video on bath time in a while. And so, we about to, she excited, she ready. When she stinks, she be all ready to get in the bathtub. So, she ready to get washed up. I guess it's her, the woman in her. But we're going to show y'all how we do this, how we set it up, how we go ahead and get it done. I did switch up some things on uh, what I wash her up with, bathe her with. First off, I've always been the type of person that blow dry my dogs. So I always make sure I get the blow dryer. Um, then, my wife got, got this for Roxy. This is all her tiles. As y'all can see, her pink tile, her face tile sitting over there. These are her tiles. Um, so I just get these tiles out. She's a dog, so, you know, she gets a little crazy. You see she knows her towels. She's all over the towels. Um, but just because the bathroom is white, toilet white, vanity, white everything. So try to keep it all down to a minimum of when she's shaking the water and everything. So my wife bought this to hold all her stuff in. So this is where we put her stuff in. And so now I'll show you how we set that up. I still do use the lavender uh, puppy shampoo for her because... It, it smells very well and it gives her coat and it gives her coat a nice and soft shiny look so this is just what we use um, get it at Walmart for probably about three or four bucks it's real good it's gentle and it's tearless um, some people don't think that dogs get all teary eyed and stuff but it's tearless so it's good to go um, another thing that I used, I started using years ago um, with my dogs was the mane and tail. This stuff right here is good. I, I like it a lot. Um, I started using this once my dogs started getting out of that puppy uh, stage and they're no longer um, letting something like this keep the smell down for long. I go to this. It's very good on their coat. Um, it has worked well with every dog that I've had. So now that Roxy is getting a little bigger, she didn't win over 50 pounds now, it's time to rock and roll with the good stuff. Uh, and she goes out, runs around a lot more. So her energy is up. So it's, it's time for this stuff. Really good. Um, as y'all can see here, it says for shiny and uh, manageable hair. So it, it works real good. It works very well. So I'm real proud of this product. So I, I definitely love to use this product. But now I'm going to go ahead and show y'all, boom, 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 how to get this setup going. So with this, I always want it close to me, the shampoos and stuff. So I always set the shampoos like right there so I can grab them. Um, she's in a way right now because she's been, she's getting tired of me making a video. But I take this towel and I just throw this towel right up against the door here, over here like this. Um, like that. This towel is the main towel on the floor. Roxy, move, move, move. Go, 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 go. This towel is the main towel. I throw this towel right up against the tub, uh, like that, like so. And then her towel that I dry her off with in the end, y'all y'all can see the pinky pink. Y'all see how excited she gets. She knows her towel. I hang it right over the shower thing so I can just pull it down. Then I have this towel, and some of y'all may be like, oh, that's a lot excessive. It is what it is, maybe, but this is just my process. I just throw this towel like right over the sink right here, so when she shake, the white of the sink don't get everywhere. I mean, a hair, and then this towel here, I just throw over the toilet. Um, so when she shake, it just don't get in places where I don't see it and I miss it. Um, and then this right here, until further notice, Till we need you again. Bye bye. So that's done. Um, I like to be all in pairs, so I plug up the bow dryer. I had a bow dryer plugged up, so everything just goes into pow 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 smooth motion. Um, I get the shower head pulled down, and because I'm blow drying her, afterwards I don't like to keep the water. I don't like to keep the water. I don't like to have the water hot. I like to have it with a little bit of a chill. Only for the simple fact is too, sometimes we get to wash it. She wanna drink the water. 
She's a, you know, she's a dog. She may be thirsty. So she may want to drink the water. Pick the big girl up. And guys, it's time to get the scrubbing. The girl that picked up some pounds, guys. Um, so then I just come here. She knows what's about to go down. Start off with a rinse, like I said. She drink the water. It make, I think that's what really makes her get a lot comfortable in the tub when it's time for a bath. Um, so just wash her down. And then we're in the middle of a season change. So now that we're in the middle of a season change, um, as y'all know, uh, dog shed, I've been telling y'all from my history of Rottweilers, they shed four times a year. Um, unless they have like uh, some food allergies or whatever, they may share off a of food allergy, maybe time to switch up the food. But big sheds, they shed four times a year. When the season change, that's when they get down with the shedding. So in this video, in this washing, you guys are going to see a lot of the undercoat come off of her. But like I said, I worsen her down really well. Make sure the water gets into her coat really well. Soak her down. It, it makes for a better scrub and a better wash. When you let the dog get, uh, when you get your dog all soaked up, so it makes for a better wash. So, right now, that's all I'm doing. Up oh, that water is getting a little, get a little too warm, and I like it. I think Roxy realized too, but she ain't gonna say that because she she likes it hot or cold. It don't matter. She's comfortable with it. As long as she's in the bath, she don't care. Ain't that right, Roxy? You don't care, do you? She like, nah, get it over with. I'm tired of stinking. So she gets the shake, and as y'all can see, if y'all saw all that water splash everywhere, y'all see now why I cover up everything. It just makes for an easier cleanup afterwards for me. And then once I show y'all how it goes when I blow dry her, she loves getting dried off. She loves getting blow dried. So y'all can see how crazy she gets. And when it says shed season, that's just a mess. So. I try to eliminate a lot of the cleaning. That's why I put all those towels down and around. And plus, her stuff get washed by itself. So it makes for a, a decent sized load too when I'm done and it's time to wash her things. So she shakes. Shake that booty. Shake that booty. Go ahead, girl. But, so after I soak her down for a while, let her start getting real comfortable with the water. And moving around, she stinks. Now the water is making it really known that she stinks. I start off with this to put that scent into her. Now watch how she acts. She get crazy when I pour this stuff on her. Because it's nice and cold. Then I just bring her over to me. Start the scrubbing process with her. And like I said, when you washing your dog, don't be afraid to scrub. Make your dog feel clean. Dogs, especially dogs that's house dogs, that's with you 24-7, they love to be clean. They love. Do they get themselves dirty a lot? Yes, but they love to be clean. Especially my girl Roxy here. She loves to be clean. When she starts feeling like she's dirty and she stinks, you start seeing her hang around the bathroom Try to sit by the tub, basically trying to tell us, wash her up. And my wife be on the same page like, Roxy, I'm on your same page. You need a bath. Your daddy needs to wash you. So we get this in. But like I said, it's shedding time, so it's hair coming off her like crazy. Like crazy, y'all. It's everywhere inside this tub. And that's why it's really important to get these baths and these good scrubs in so you can get off as much of that dead hair or that undercoat as possible. And people think, oh, they always forget to scrub that butt. But you got to. That's where a lot of the loose hair be. Leave the time. You're not at that point yet. So, you're not at that point. Leave right there. So, we just do a good scrub, get the whole body, scrub it all, even the paws. Look like she does real well when it comes to a bath. Like I said, this stuff is tearless, 
So with this stuff, I do get her face. I will show y'all that. But me is my dog. I love her. So I don't, I don't have a problem washing her up. Just as I will wash myself up. Scrubbing up. Make sure I get every area of her clean. Just give some more water to stretch out that soap. But I scrub her down. I don't know, we don't do shedding around here. We don't like seeing hair everywhere. My wife goes crazy if she see a dog hair. Even though she loves Roxy, she's just not a dog hair kind of person. So we have to make sure we scrub her down. Like I said, this stuff is tearless. So with this stuff, I do like to uh, go and get her face. Because for some reason, I, you know, y'all may have had this encounter if you guys have had Rottweilers before. But Rottweilers have some sleepy eyes when they wake up in the morning. So I just scrub her face down. Make sure that's clean. That's why I will always use a tearless shampoo when I'm washing my dogs just so I can get their face and it's not affecting their vision, their eyes, their nose, it's sensitive to the touch. So, I'm going to show y'all how dirty she was. Let me just press my hands off, dry them off. What I'm trying to do is tilt this camera. Let me see that camera. Can you see it? Let's see. Now, look at all this. If you can see all of this hair inside, all, right. all of this hair around here, it's a ton of hair. Like I said, we're in the midst of getting to change seasons in a minute. And so, this undercoat is really begging to be coming off. So, that's just what we're going to do. Get it off. With all of the dirt, y'all see that dirt that's coming down. She was a filthy little girl, wasn't she? All right. So let's go ahead and get her rinsed off. Get her rinsed off. But I have to detail the tub, scrub it down, bleach it down when I get done. So I'm not afraid to show you guys how this process looks when it's time to do it because we detail it. But since it's so hot outside, it's not really good to wash her outside because it's so hot already so early in the morning. And then by the time you get done washing your dog outside here, she's already sweating. She's already starting to stink again by the time you get done drying her off because it's so hot. And then you constantly got to run water on the ground because the ground is hot. So you talk about 100 to 10 degrees early. Like I told y'all, my wife, she hates a dog hair being everywhere. So her face right now, like, it's classic. Her face is classic without looking at all of the dog hair. Normally she tries to stay out of this process, but today she's my camera lady because she hates seeing it. Yeah, she soaked me up. She soaked me up. But it's all cool because afterwards she's going to be clean. A lot of this dead hair is going to be gone. And we're going to blow dry her. She's going to be good to go. It'd be so funny when she shake her neck start looking like she's a hyena or a lion or something. Ah, don't shake. Please don't shake. Don't shake. Please don't shake. Don't shake. So, it's just a process. That's the first. And I do like to. Make sure I get all of the soap rinsed off of her before I go on with the next session of washing her. So, I do like to make sure everything is rinsed all off. Get it all off. Get them under pits. Shit. Get it all off. And then, because I want to see how much comes off after I give her a good rinse down, I rinse down the tub so that I can I can watch and manage, walk watch and see how much hair is coming off. So 
Y'all saw the shower, but the tub before with all that hair on it. Now, if you look at it, no hair, completely white. I rinsed it all down. Mama! And so, now, y'all hear the kids in the background. Can't make a video. Y'all know how y'all. So, rinse her down, get her, get her coat back soaked up. And then, y'all can see she looking like, what the heck? For some reason, her and Shep, be putting the shampoo stuff on her. Gets her every time. She's like, I can't see what you're doing behind me. Well, uh, I'm cleaning you, girl. I'm cleaning you. Getting that good stuff on me. So, really good stuff. I like to help her stay relaxed when I'm washing her. So, I like to massage as I wash. As you can see, it's a strong massage. Really helping her. Um, as y'all know, Rottweilers always suffer from arthritis or hip dysplasia. So I do like to, when I massage her hips and everything, and while I'm washing her, just so, you know, I can feel if there's any type of uh, un, unusual things going on with her body. And plus, you know how it is, dogs go outside, they run through grass, rocks, whatever, and so they may get, you know, ticks or fleas up under their skin, up under their hair that's hard for you to see until they have fed and almost is full. So that's why I really like to do it with uh, on the sides throughout it, so make sure there's nothing on her, nothing that's hot, caught on to her, you know, just her being outside and playing around. Uh, so, as y'all can see, I just coat her spine, and y'all see how she loves it. Y'all see that stretch. She loves the scrubs in the tub. Scrub a tub tub. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to call it. So, we do this, and we just get it going. Get it, get her scrubbed down really well. Um, this time around, there's less hair coming off of her, which is a good sign. Something that you always, it's good to see when they're going through a shed is that, you know, it's starting to stop. So, like I said, she hasn't been washed in a while. Now, y'all know me, uh, I wash her quite often um, just because her coat produced so much different oils and, and things as such. So, I wash her often because it'd be like, all right. It's bad time. Like I said out here, it's hot. So going outside at 107 degrees, she gets really, really sweaty and hot and stinky. So me, I'm not one of those ones that say, oh, it's a bad thing to wash a dog. Y'all can see from Roxy's coat from the time I got her till now, her coat is still shiny, still beautiful, still soft, you know, so it don't damage her at all. We don't damage her at all. So, like I said, just a deep scrub.
Now it's time for the third wash. Third and final wash. Uh, I do three different wash sessions just to make sure we can get her as clean and smelling good as possible. Sometimes it's better to just be uh, over cautious and double checking, triple checking, going over your steps multiple times than to miss something and not been a scrubber really well. Uh, this final one also is really so much of, of a of a calm down, not too much scrubbing, more so just rubbing the whole time. Um, just basically relaxing her muscles, calming her down, setting her coat and everything ready for the blow dryer and the calm down. So it's more so of a lathering in that shampoo. Um, just so the coat could be good. So now she's fascinated with the water. Now she's rinsing herself off. This is what you call a smart dog. She's rinsing her own face off. Do you see this? Rinsing her own head and face off. Intelligent. Just intelligent. Wash your face. Wash your face, Roxy. Wash your face. There you go. Oh, she got me, guys. She got me. Oh, she childish for that one. She got me good, though. Here, wash your face. Wash your face. Go ahead. Wash your face. All right. She's done washing her face. My turn. Oh, oh. Like I said, it's a lot less hair from when we started. Now she's very goofy. But you want to make the process of rinsing and stuff off faster, just rub as you rinse in the spots. It'll help the soap come about the coat a lot faster. Um, a lot faster. My second wash, my first wash, kind of get my knees and my back a break. That's why I, I let the water just run it down. But the last one, I always do this. Oh, crap. I always just do this because it gets off whatever loose uh, hair is, you know, on its way out, too. So, we... You just rinse it off, rub it all out, rub it all out. Rub it all out, rub it all out. It's the final haul anyways. So you just rub it all out. Yeah, get her all good to go. Yeah, there we go. Some reason she loved doing her face wash. All right, make sure you get that underbelly. Yeah, because it ain't washed off. Now she's chasing the water around the tub. So just getting the tub rinse down, all this hair from everywhere, and it all rinse down in the way. So, there we go. So this part right here, I start drying her off inside the shower because when I start rubbing this stuff, a lot of her hair is going to come off. So I start with her face. And don't ever feel like, oh, I got to be super, super gentle. Because you get way more water off when you get a good, hard, good scrub in. I mean, good drying off scrub off. And plus, she's a dog. She plays way rougher. The way I see her smack herself with her ropes, I know that she can handle 
a, a good rough scrub. It helps for an easier blow dry as well because I'm getting so much water off with the towel with just a good scrub. Now it does it in here because it's easier to clean up the hair out of, out of the tub. Um, and so, as y'all can see, as I'm drying her off, so much of this stuff is falling off. That's why it's good to get a, a good scrub in. Dry her off. She loves the drying off process. She loves her towel. That's why y'all see her acting crazy. She loves getting her face covered up in it. Come on. Go get out. Come on. All right, I'll pick you up. I'll get you out. So I get her out. I'm going to see her. She's going to roll around. Acting crazy. Right. Come. Come. All right, y'all see she loves getting blow dry. She's a dog. So she's going to turn natural, drying of herself. She's like rubbing herself on the on the towel. Turn natural drying off. Kicks in. And then I'll just give her a little help. I like to try to make sure it's a nice cool breeze coming in when I'm doing it. Because the blow dryer is hot. I want her to start sweating and get that funky all over again. Y'all see she loves it. Just give her some itches. That leg start going crazy. The leg goes crazy. She loves getting blow dry. Y'all know how dogs is. When you hit they, they fun area, the fun spot, oh, they go crazy. So I'm pretty much going to try to fight her. Whatever area she's exposing to me is the area that I focus on blow drying at that time. You know, so like the belly is always the easiest to dry off. It's the less hair. So it don't take no time to really dry it off. But, so, just dry it off. Now she getting Hey crazy. Get over here. Get over here, crazy. Thank you, thank you. Now she's like, where your hand go? Why are you not rubbing me no more? So you're going crazy, rolling all over the floor.
really fast. As you guys can see, the reason why all that scrubbing and stuff is really is really important because notice right here, there's no hair right there. As I'm blow drying her, there's no hair right in this area where I'm blow drying her. You know, from the few that came from when I was drying her off the towel. But now I can do all this. And no hair is coming off of it. I can scrub her as much as I want. There's no hair coming off because you do majority of the you do majority of the hair off during the wash and the drying of the towel. That's why I said you can be a little rough sometimes. But you see there's no hair coming off. No hair coming off. So all of that is left there. That's why it's good to blow dry them and not to leave them wet. Because you are, are also get all of that hair, that dead hair off. And, and drying it off, all the new hair up, but it's not falling off. So, we get it done pretty well. Hey, let's roll over. Let's get this side. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hold on, hold on. All right, come on, leave this side. Come on. There we go. There we go. You such an idiot, dog. So we just gonna keep on drying her. Wanna make sure she get all the way dry. And when you leave a dog wet, she start it starts smelling like a wet dog. So the drying process is real key to not feel it like you just wasted your time with washing the dog. Dry the dog off really well. Really well. She's a lot of hair everywhere. Y'all see my white face right now. She look, she's going crazy. So, just make sure, hey, hey. Come here. So now, she's dried all up. She's looking really well. Coat soft. And our job is done here. But it's hair everywhere, guys. Come on, go, 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 go. So now she's free to go. And guys, it's hair everywhere. But as I was telling you guys, it's a process. It works. You got to do it. Ain't no way around it. So if you haven't already, like, subscribe. Bye.